Today was supposed to be my review of the Cooler Master Master Liquid ML120L RGB, but then this happened. Hello everybody, my name is Nikki and you're watching Tech ZA. So before I talk about the specific unit, let me go on the, back on a little bit of theory that I've always had about closed loop liquid coolers. So, I've always liked buying these closed loop liquid coolers because they are more simple to install in a custom loop. Some people like doing the custom loop, even I like the idea of it, but I'm a little scared of doing it somewhat. I've never done it before and I'm not sure about other parts of the world, but in South Africa specifically, these closed loop liquid coolers are way cheaper to purchase than doing a custom loop. I mean, even like just a CPU block for a custom loop could cost almost the same as a small cheap cooler like this one here. So, and uh, lastly, the reason that I buy them is because I just feel that these coolers are put together at a factory and therefore there's not much of a chance of them leaking in my system like with a custom loop if you are incompetent with doing them. Even a competent um, uh, technician could get leaks. I've seen them get leaks every time you do it. You have to check and make sure there's no leaks and there can come leaks later on and you have to do maintenance on them and all that. And up until now, this theory of mine has worked out really well for me. My first uh, closed loop liquid cooler that I ever purchased was a Corsair H40, I believe. And up until now, that cooler is still working today. And that one is an Acetec cooler and all of the ones I've bought until now are Acetec basically just with different brand names on them. The Cooler Master one is made by Cooler Master themselves so I don't know about how good Cooler Master quality is and quality control and all that. So yeah let's without further ado let's get into it. So this unit I purchased it actually a couple of months ago already for a build that I was planning and then I never continued with the build up until now because I didn't get all of the parts yet and today I wanted to do a review of this cooler uh, because I'm about to start using it now but then when I opened up the box before doing the review to just have a look over of it before I start. Um, the f I immediately, after removing this packaging, uh, come on, I immediately saw that there was some bright yellow liquid inside of the little baggie of the uh, uh, CPU block and pump assembly. So, Immediately this was a red light for me and I knew this wasn't right So I didn't remove it any further. Let's take it out now anyways So that I can show you guys So just to be clear, I haven't used this thing at all as you can see it's still inside of its packaging It started leaking inside of its packaging. Luckily it was inside the packaging and not on my system already when it started leaking that would have been catastrophic if it was on a new build system. So as you can see in the little bag and on the pump itself, the CPU block, there is bright yellow liquid all over the place. So now I don't know exactly how I'm gonna handle this. This unit does have a two year warranty on it so I mean I guess their quality can't be too bad in normal conditions so I'm basically gonna have to send this back to the supplier and hear what they're gonna say about it but I guess I'm pretty sure I shouldn't have any problem getting them to swap it out with a functioning unit and then I will be able to make a full review of it so 
yeah, I guess that's basically all I can say about this one. And we will have to see exactly what happens and I will have to keep you guys up to date then about that. So for now, I'm just gonna have to put this unit back into its box. All of its packaging and everything. Basically just like that. And uh, try and get it all in there. Yeah, something like that. And we'll have to see what happens. Okay guys, thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe to this video if you liked it. And I will see you guys next time.